Hey everyone, today we're going to be talking about text labels. Let's get straight into it. Now we can add text labels onto frames. So if I add a text label, we can add a text label onto a frame. Or we can just have a text label within a screen GUI. It doesn't actually matter. But I'm just going to keep it in our frame for now because we've been keeping with this so far. So let's just keep it. So let's add a text label. Now what is a text label? Well essentially it's just a label that displays text. So let me scale this, the size I'm going to set to 100.40. Now what, I'm just going to, yep, yeah, there we go, I'll cover this as like a little header. And um, get the position 00, we can change the background colour, but I think I'm just going to leave it as is. I might actually uh, remove the border pixel size, there we go. Now what we could actually do is add background transparency, we can make that 1, so then we can't even see the background. We make it 0.5, but I'm just gonna I'm just gonna have it zero actually. Have a lighter shade of blue up here. Now the actual text label, I'm going to change the name to uh, header, and down here we've got all of our text stuff. And this is all the interesting stuff. So we can change the font, uh, we can change our line height, uh, and you know we've got everything we can play around with here. I'm gonna start with our text. I'm gonna change this to. Um, subscribe to Drupal Studios there we go change that and I'm gonna scale it where it says text scaled we can either change the size manually or we can scale the text which automatically puts the uh, text size the highest it can be before it goes out of the frame now I'm gonna change the text color to white and I think we can add rich text as well I think uh, the line height if we put that zero it will be squashed onto one nine if we put it at two We've got a gap, so one is kind of the best. It's the default. With weight, I'm gonna make it uh, make it bold. Uh, we can have italics. Uh, okay, and we've got our fonts here, so we can have different fonts. I might have mine as Oswald. Uh, text scaled, of course. I'm gonna that on. Uh, text stroke color. So what this is, we can have a stroke. So if we change the text stroke transparency to zero, you'll see we get a little outline, and we can change the color of this outline. So we could make it like red. I'll keep it at black. Text transparency, you know, we can have different transparencies for the text. Text truncate is how the text is truncated, which doesn't ex really work with scaled. If we were to put this on like a hundred, where it cuts out, and then we change the truncate to at end, it will add a dot 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 where it's gone out of the frame. Essentially, it's just how it's truncated. Which, but I'm going to leave that at none and put our text scaled back on. You don't really need to worry about it if you have text scaled on. Uh, text wrapped, uh, that basically uh, wraps the text. It means that your text scaled has to come off. Uh, you can only have text wrap off if you have your text scaled off. But essentially, if we turn that off, we'll see it, it's not wrapped within the frame. It goes out. So it's like this size here. If we put that at like 50, of course it's in the frame. But if we put it at 200 or even 250, we'll see it's, it's, it's out the frame so uh, text having text wrap off basically means it'll stick out the edges but if we turn that on it sticks within the edges but and of course I want text scaled on and then the alignment is essentially how it's aligned on the, the um, label so we can have bottom top center and yeah and then what we can do is add another one so we've got our header and here I'm going to make the background transparency one and I'll make this text um, we would greatly appreciate it, thank you, or something like that. And now I'm going to turn text scaled off. I might turn um, the uh, bold the bold off. Uh, maybe change the font. Maybe make the text size a bit smaller, like that. Perfect. And I'll rename this to uh, description. So everyone, that's it for this video. That's all I want to show you. Hope you did find it helpful, and I'll see you in the next one where we're going to be talking about text buttons. So thanks for watching. Goodbye.